All right, let's go through these examples and we're being asked, is this a complete graph? So I have one, two, three, four vertices. And remember for something to be a complete graph, it means that every vertex is connected to every other vertex. And it does look like this is the case because I've got, uh, you know, one, two, three. So I'm connecting all of those. This one I'm connecting. This one is connecting to everything. So on the face of it, it does look like a complete graph, but we can verify this by using our formula. So the first thing that we're going to take note of is that N is going to be equal to four because I have four vertices. So I'm going to say K of four, which is going to represent the amount of edges I'm going to have is equal to four brackets, four minus one over two, which is the same as four times three over two. That is the same as 12 on two, which is equal to six. Therefore, I should have six edges. And sure enough, one, two, three, four, five, six. I do have six edges. I do have six edges, therefore complete. And that's kind of the thinking uh, that goes behind that question there. Let's now go to the next one here, example two. So notice that, you know, they haven't given us a straight network here. They're kind of giving us a bit of an example of a situation. There are eight people, eight people in a room and they want to shake each other's hands with, sorry, there are eight people in a room and they want to shake hands with every other person once. Draw a diagram, draw a graph to represent this situation. All right, let's see how we go here. And as we're drawing this graph, we're also going to get a sense of, um, you know, what it means, what this formula means as well. So it will be good. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's begin with our first one. So this person will shake that person's hand, that person's hand, that person's hand, that person's hand, that person's hand. Oh, let's see if we can make this neat. Perfect. If you're watching this on YouTube, now is the time to speed up the video. All right. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven uh, handshakes are happening there. Now, I want you to see what happens when I now go on to my next person. So when I come to my next person here, well, I've already got a connection back to the first person, so I don't need to draw that again. So now I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. What did you notice about the amount of edges that time? It was one less than when I, uh, the first one, wasn't it? And now interestingly, when I go to the third person, well, I've already got a connection to the second person. I've already got a connection to the first person. So now when I draw it, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, one less again. So this had seven, six, five, so hopefully you can predict what the next one is going to be. Let me grab another color here. So notice this is already connected there, there, and there. So I don't redraw them. One, two, three, four, one less again. Let's grab another color. I'm quickly running out of colors. Let's go red. So here I'm going to go at one, two, three, one less again. All right, let's go to another color now. I'm going to go brown. This one will be one, two, so one less again. And then for the last one here, I've got no more color. We can go with this light blue. It's just going to be one there. So hopefully you can see what happened here. And I'll draw it over here. Let me come here. Let me grab this. What happened is I went, all right, I went seven plus six. If I'm trying to figure out the total amount of edges now, I'm going to go seven for the first one six for the next one, then five, then four, then three, then two, then one. And if I was to add all of this together, what is it going to be? One plus two is three. So it would be three, six, 10, 15, 21, 28 would be my total there. Now, obviously doing it like this is hard, you know, having to count it up, but you can kind of get a sense of what we're doing. It is eight people. So we go one less and then just go one less each time and add them up. Um, so now, if we were to use our formula instead of this method, how many people shake hands, how many handshakes will need to occur? Well, what we're going to do here is we'll just use our formula and we'll say, all right, well, N this time is going to be equal to eight. So I'm going to say K of eight is going to be equal to eight 
8 minus 1 over 2, which is the same as 8 times 7 over 2, which is the same as 56 over 2, which is equal to 28. So therefore, 28 handshakes. And do you notice how? That's what we saw up here. So what I really want you to appreciate here is that this formula, the thinking behind it, is simply this happening here. So mathematically, the same thing is happening here as it is down here. We're getting to that same number. Uh, and yeah, that's how it works. What a pretty little diagram that is. All right, I'll see you in the next one.